At Vibra Finance, we seek out the hidden gems in cryptocurrency. We will tailor your portfolio to work for you. Are you ready to transition your investments from traditional markets to cryptocurrency? Are your coins staked and earning interest? Are you overwhelmed with all the jargon in crypto? Is your portfolio underperforming and you want to reposition into consistent winning blue chip coins and viable projects? Do you feel like you missed out on DeFi, Metaverse, and NFTs? Here at Viber Finance, we provide you with the data, skills, and tools you need to stay on top of the digital asset market. Viber Finance, we are the future of crypto. Good morning, everybody, and we're live for another episode with Eagle and Molly. What's up, fellas? What's going on, fam? How you doing? Good, good. What's up, Molly? Yo, yeah, I was on mute. I was like, what's going oh, on, y'all? Yeah. It's a great day, right? A great day. Absolutely. Beautiful day. Yes, sir. It's an even better day. When How did the Phillies win last night? Yes, they did. All right. I thought I saw yes, they, they were did. Asleep. Now that you brought it up, and the um, Eagles are seven and seven and zero. Oh. Hey, it, hey, we got the one, MVP huh? though. We got Danny Dimes for MVP, so watch out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's it is it's it is good to say. It's fun though when the Eagles and when the, our teams are good. Like it's yeah, it's, it's fun. Whatever, you know, it's looking like we got the best division right now. I know. I know it's crazy. Well, one year ago, struggling to make the playoffs yep. in nine, and now we got two two of the best of um, teams in the in the NFC. Hell yeah, man! But Buffalo's looking great. I know. Ever Buffalo. seen you got what's his name? Diggs. Stephon Diggs. Yeah, a problem. Oh, Gabe Davis too is killing yeah. it this year. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yes. Nice. So yeah, let's see what we got in the markets today. We're gonna look at the uh, the bubbles here. I swear, I, it's, these are cursed. <laughs> Every time I pull them up, but you know it, that we got a little in, little meeting from the Fed yesterday. So, <laughs> what do you got? Any, in the house. Yes, sir. <laughs> what a, uh, <laughs> the trifecta. <laughs> That's what the, the, the holy trinity is here. What's up, Lindsay? What up, man? Thank you guys for Man, what's up? Tin top. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yeah, wow, bro. Green bubbles. I swear, this is one of the first times ever that I pulled Boom. up the bubbles that we've had. Green. Look at Phantom. <clears throat> Come on back there. Yeah, Phantom. Yeah. <laughs> Phantom is Phantom is one of those coins where it's like, it still is going to do better than a lot of people think, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I that's yeah. Even are we? I haven't um haven't really looked much into it, but near and are we? I've heard a lot of of good things about. Yeah, I've been hearing more about near. I've been using that sweat coin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yo, what 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 it like? How do you do that? Like with the sweat coin? Okay, so it's a um, so it's like a like a fitness app, and it, and it tracks your your miles. Say you're doing like on the stair climbing, or you're doing the a treadmill and it, it calculates that in the crypto for you and i know they have a partnership with with near protocol so i'm just waiting to see if they're going to transfer those sweat coins over to you know with, with near or whatever they're going to do with them kind of, that kind of like step in what they're doing but just a little kind of kind of but more more catered towards people like that, that are like not crypto savvy gotcha yeah gotcha What's up, Heinz? Appreciate you stopping by. All right. So, yeah, I mean, markets, we're looking good. You know, we had the um, the meeting yesterday where Powell came out. <laughs> there it is. Another 0.75 basis points. So what do you guys think? What do you think about that? Is that expected or <clears throat> that was that kind of shocking to you guys? Par for the course. Yep. <laughs> All the yellow brick road. Yeah. I, uh, it's, I mean, man, this has been going on for about, like, what, a, a year now? Like, they just, every month, just, just pretty much do this. I mean, 
it's at this point it's just like we're just going to inflate to just holy i don't know yeah it's like they should have just came to the point to be honest what's when does it stop (laughs) uh it's a this it's they're trying to to have a soft landing here so soft landing yeah so you know i don't know what the hell they're doing but i think they should have just came with a full point and just said you know what full point half point december and we're gonna just taper this down but you know that this this isn't good, bro. I, I was really hoping for a half point. No. And, you know, he was – he made some interesting comments in that in, inflation continues to be sticky and hot and high. So, rates – rate hikes will continue. So, they're going to – he's he was talking about jo- jobs – and unemployment was doing good. We're at all like all time lows, which is <laughs> I don't know how they're getting that that statistic. But as long as they can say as long as unemployment's under control, they just got to work on inflation, work on inflation, work on inflation. Yeah. Same repetitive jargon. Yeah. But I mean, I, I don't. I, I'm curious to see what the the world says now because they were pleading. For no more um, raises the last couple of weeks, and now you yeah. see them just—they don't care. They're going to crush these markets, and I, I don't think it's going to stop. We're going to get another 0.75, and I heard the Fed funds rate is going to go up to five percent by next year. Jeez. And we're at now, yeah, we're at on four percent. So Jeez. another point there. Once we get to five, that should be the top. But man, this could get ugly. I I feel like the worst, like not even just the actions that are going on, but like the fact that they get on the news, like and most people watch and just blatantly just say, oh, there's no inflation. You just put out an article that says, you know what I'm saying? Another rate hike. So I just don't like, you know, people got to just like kind of like look at the facts. But I guess everyone just looks at the news and just take what they say, like the very first line. And, oh. Everything's okay. That's it. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's really not, you know? Yeah. I mean, the, yeah. I guess the only good thing you could take here is that signaling that they'd begin to slow rate hikes in the next meeting, which could be in December. So if they, I think one, if they just taper down to, to a half a point, I think that that'll be bullish for 2023. <clears throat> I, uh, I, I hope because it really it affects all of us. I mean, the only people yeah, that it does. doesn't affect is the people who are like mega rich. So like, even people who have, quote unquote, like that that threshold of like one million dollars that everybody wants to get to, it ain't like, it ain't such a, a cushy place anymore. No, not a, not no more. Mm-mm. No, I just there was uh, what was it? The amount of money you need to retire, they just increased it. <laughs> massive. I don't. I, I don't remember what it was, but I think it used to be a million dollars, and now they upped it to like one point seven five, I, something like that. But they almost doubled what you need to comfortably retire. <laughs> own something. That's the. That's the only answer I have for everybody at own this shit. point. Just own something. Like, yeah. I don't care what it is. Crypto, a house, a pair of shoes. Own that. Own something. Yeah, <laughs> that's so true, bro. Like, yes, yeah. that's, that's such a good point, and and that's what what kind of like the Algorand is what we wanted to kind of get Beautiful. Into today. Beautiful transition, and, you know. With the World Cup coming, I saw a really interesting stat that they're expecting five billion people to watch the World Cup this year, which is half of the population of the world. So if you want to get something in front of the world, there is. Pretty, you know, there's no better place to do it than the World Cup. Absolutely, you got my finger. Like, you know, I've I've, I've had Algorand for a while, but after seeing this again, you're making me want to buy more. Yeah, I'm. I think <laughs> I just, well, they used they. I really used to like the staking. It was like six percent, seven, six and a half percent, right yeah. in the ledger. You didn't need to do anything, and your rewards just auto compounded. Yep, and now it's gone. No, you can do that right now on X, on the Exodus wallet. Really? Yeah. Okay. So you only use a ledger, so I okay. got rid of it, which 
which shocked to me. For and there's, there's other platforms too. The uh, Algo Algorand has a few um, products where you can stake with. If I'm not mistaken, you can do it AlgoFi. I think you can lend some of it out also. I thought, I, if I'm not mistaken, because it's been a while since I've been involved with Algorand, uh -huh. I thought it was one of those coins where you just stake, it like they just gave you rewards without you really doing anything. Yeah, yeah, it is. You didn't, you don't, you just need the. I was just holding it in my ledger. Yeah, it's we're, we're, we're auto compounding, and even on Atomic Wallet, they had uh six and a half percent APY on there, and Let me they go check real quick. See, let me see where it's at on Exodus. Yeah, because I looked on Kraken too, and it's like one to four percent. They crush the rewards for everything. Yeah, I just didn't want to sit on the exchange. Funny, funny story about Algorand and Exodus. Seven point nine percent APY. Wow. That's oh really yeah. Cool. I, I so like funny thing with Algorand and Exodus. Oh yeah. I I kind of I kind of messed up where like I lost like ownership. It was just a couple shares of the stock that I bought, but I didn't realize it was like an on chain stock. And you had to connect it to an Algorand wallet when you bought it. And I didn't remember like the Algorand wallet because I had two. I didn't remember the one because I was pretty sure I, I linked it to that one. But I linked it to the other one I didn't have anymore. So now my my like five shares are like lost. Like I bought them, but like they're just like lost now. Oh, damn. It ain't worth anything. The price of the stock yeah. just plummeted. So like... Did it <laughs> it's probably gonna come back <laughs> no it probably will i mean yeah. it exodus has been around since like 2015 and they're doing some huge things that, just like you were saying with, with stocks aren't they yeah they they got their uh like tokenization on the blockchain there's a platform called securitize where that's it you have to register and your sec like they they just gotta know that you're there so you basically like just registering and like they're sending all your information to like the SEC or whatever. So it's in that database. But I mean, yeah, that's how you got to do that one. You got to verify do KYC and all of that. Yeah. But, but I mean, it's it's a new platform, not new, new. It's it's been about, I would say, over a year. But mm. I mean, we'll see how that plays out. Yeah. Yeah. So that, I mean, those are the type. I mean, the, even the. um I forget the name of the little app that I had for, uh, I think it was Yieldly or something like that. Yeah. Is that one of the apps on here? And Opulus. I mean, they're, I was trying to find, you know, the best projects on Algorand and it's tough, bro. They're so small. You know, there's only a couple coins that are tr with trading volumes over a million dollars. Yeah. So we're so new to this ecosystem. No, you're right. <clears throat> this is, well, I mean, just the FIFA, and they had it was um, what was it? I had another article about um, Algorand, and one of their higher. Uh, where was it? It was a Medium article. Uh, all right. Oh, well, I'll look for it, but. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. So with Algorand, they're doing the FIFA Collect is the name of the uh, of the partnership that they're doing with all the NFTs, and it's I'll I'll pull it up in a second. But um, they're also doing so much with the CBDCs. Yeah, and Molly, you pulled this up. The Marshall Islands was one of the latest ones to get announced on their uh, on their website here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, so this is actually the first public one. So like, you know how they have the sand dollar with the uh, Bahamas. That was like the first one. Right. But this is the first public one. You know what I'm saying? So like yeah. the other one was a CBDC that's private. So the SOV, that's the first public uh, national digital currency. <clears throat> Interesting. Yeah. And we were looking at this earlier. So what they are... Algorand right is these national initiatives right here. They are interesting, man. This is so, amazing for here. Yeah. So what they they say about these initiatives is they require neutrality, uh, secure, decentralized network. They must be scalable and able to 
uh, facilitate the transactions of massive country-sized user bases, as well as transparent and immutable, ensuring users can see and have visibility on their own unchanging records. So uh, once we uh, we looked at, where was it here? The SIA, S-I-A-E? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, Societia Italiana Degli Autoria Ed Editori. <laughs> the the nice. base, an Italian major copyright collecting agency. So these got they are launching more than four million NFTs on Algorand for ninety five thousand creators. And what this is going to do is represent the rights of these members. So NFTs will be used for the first time to represent authors' rights of members. Digitizing these rights on a decentralized and transparent public blockchain is the first requirement to build an open infrastructure able to protect authors' rights end-to-end yes. as envisioned by SAIE for the future of the industry. So this this right here, I this is well, – so much has been said about NFTs and how they're just pixels, they're JPEGs, you know – Yada, yada, yada. This right here is the next evolution of NFTs when they're actually going to be used and utilized for this stuff right here, for artists, for creators, for businesses, for houses that go up for sale. There, all these things will be smart contracts and NFTs. And who's going to be the one that can house them and scale to where you're not going to pull an Ethereum when they have, you know... Say they have a massive creator and they put out a viral video and everyone wants in on it and the network just starts to clog up. Fees can't go through the that can't happen. Can't. So this is why they're testing and over testing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Over and over and over and over again, years and years to make sure there's no flaws. Yeah. So Algrand's building the, the technology to power the future of finance, future FI which is the convergence of traditional and decentralized models into a unified system that's inclusive, frictionless, and secure. Founded by Turing Award winner Silvio McCalley, Algorand you developed... You better say it. McCalley, McCalley, I mean, I don't, I, I, I don't, well, you, you say it. This, no, I was just saying, like, this is, this is, this is, if this isn't enough to let you know the, magnif the magnification, like, Turing Award winner... Now, I don't know if people know this, but this blockchain is pure proof of stake. It's carbon neutrality. It's one of the first ones to ever do that. Yep. Algorand is one of the is one of the fastest, greenest blockchains out there. Mm -hmm. So I would actually, yeah, this was I want to read this here. And I'm gonna download this future of payments report and just see because I mean this future fi, I mean, they've obviously patented that. I mean, you're yeah. I start seeing that in the future. You know, more more of things like that. Um, this right here was just an article that was from last summer, but talking yeah. about Silvio. And, so, and just kind of going in the Marshall Islands right here. So now the federal government is seeking to become the first to issue a national digital currency using blockchain, blockchain technology. Officials hope the move will help citizens avoid high transaction fees, simplify compliance with international partners, and protect against inflation. So yeah. interesting. We're, go we're so the Marshall Islands are now launching their currency on Algorand, and they have looks like they have a thousand islands spread out across the Pacific. Fifty thousand people living on a thousand islands. So, a little testing ground. Yeah. Yep. The Ford Professor of Engineering in MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. So I mean that, and Gary Gensler too. His ties with MIT. Don't guy, don't forget about that. He was teaching about crypto before he took the job at the SEC. You can go back and watch a lot of his lectures from a couple of years ago. Remember, remember, YouTube kept recommending him, recommending him for a while. It just kept showing him, yeah. showing him. Yeah. So why does he act like he don't know anything? This is what I mean. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's, it's crazy. I know. The show. It is.
It is a show. It's all a show. And, and it's, you can either tune in and watch it or you can ignore it and do what we do is folk try to find the stuff that they're working on, that they're push that they're creating the problems to usher in these solutions for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So solve, solve 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 your problem that you never had yeah. in the first place. We go we're gonna give you your problem and then we're gonna come and solve it for you. Right, exactly. They they create the problems and then they have the brilliant solutions ready to usher right on in. So, like, well, also one of the things that that does bother me though, like, even with Algorand uh, being part of the El Salvador, like their whole system for their government and running their whole infrastructure there, is that they do COVID nineteen records. So, yeah, you know, they got your COVID records, so they can publish your info, you know, just in case. Ever so everyone knows you got COVID. Yeah. Yep. That was actually that was some one of the uh where was it on here for one of these other countries the block here we go this was it here you go for El Salvador this was it this was the one that you had right here right this article yeah yeah this is scary raw I mean as good as this technology is and as right. much needed for certain things it like anything it can be used for not good things so right. being able I mean this this is the downside right here. A national blockchain based certification program for the sniffles, a point of sale credit <laughs> system, yes. and smart cat track financing platforms. <laughs> Algorand technology provides the performance, scalability, security, and functionality required to implement large scale projects around the world. Cobanks is making strides across Latin America to bring more efficient infrastructure and tools to the region. So this is another example of these very desolate countries that are just spread out around islands in in these Asian Pacifics and Latin America. Yeah. And they're all they're all using the same technology, if not Algorand with Hedera, with you know Cello with XLM. There's so so that this is just. This is crazy to see. Everything is happening right in front of our eyes. This mm-hmm. one here in Bermuda. I like, well, you had, I don't know if you looked at this one, but they're they're doing health. This is all about healthcare. <coughs> Voorhees, New Jersey. <laughs> MA Pay. So that's an American company, a global healthcare tech firm with a focus on decentralized payment networks. Today announced it will introduce its own stablecoin on Algorand. Look at this. There you go. With key healthcare partnerships in the U.S. and beyond, MA Pay will use Algorand's blockchain as the backbone for its forthcoming advancements in the healthcare sector. We did. This is the stuff that, you know, working with the the um, industrial complex, getting government contracts like with Filecoin and Lockheed Martin, the stuff that we were seeing there. You know, those are the contracts that will guarantee you're too big to fail. And it, this is a great point here. They pick a poverty stricken region to for exactly, bro. That's what exactly what there they, it is. You see it in Sri Lanka, I think, is the That's right to the top. Yeah. Sri Lanka, I think their currency is, I mean, it de- no, Lebanon. Lebanon devalued their currency 90% <laughs> overnight so they could comply with the World Economic Forum and be on board in 2024. So they did they took they crushed all their citizens' wealth overnight for the good of the country so they can be on board with CBDCs. I mean it's crazy you see when you see this stuff happen. And yeah. that's the excuse banking the unbanked, you know, helping these poor remote people. You know, you're not helping them. You're you're enslaving them in a sense. I don't know if uh, anybody has ever, like, read up on the Ice Nine Theory by Jim Rickards. I heard that, but I didn't get a chance to dig into that. Yo, that is that exact thing. Like, people think that will never or can never happen to us. But basically, the Ice Nine Theory is when there's, like, a a 
a bank run where the money is devalued. So people are rushing to get their money out of the yeah. bank and the money's not available. All the ATMs are shut down. You can't get any money. But I mean, it happens all the time. Like China, it happens in China and Japan. Like people are rushing to get their money and they you can't get nothing. I just saw that going on over there. Yeah. It happens. That's yeah, here it is right here. The ice nine lockdown, the ice nine plan. Yeah. They're talking about that in the article here. Oh no, I I was just looking it okay. up right here. The Jim oh, Rick, yeah. yeah, he's showing a book. I like I like listening to that guy talk. I like his yeah. eyebrows, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, it's just people like this where they're just, like, economists, and you're telling you, like, not what will happen, obviously, because, like, we don't know what will happen, right. but the possibilities of what can happen, and it's happening other places already. So, right. It's America. Obviously, I think we'd be the last place to get hit with something like that, but it could happen. You never know. Yeah, this is interesting, but... Yeah, and back to yeah, back to Algorand here for a second. <laughs> got love. But yeah, this MA pay, bro, this, this is going to be massive. I mean, they're already working. The firm is working collaboration with leading organizations focused on interoperability and payments as service models, including large pharma, insurers, health system, banks, and governments. I mean, there you go. That is too big. Those are the partnerships that are ensuring your success. Too big to fail. Yep. And you've seen it around the world. I mean, this is right on Al Grand's website, algrand.com. But you can see it. And there was one more um, in Colombia. Here you go. The healthcare payment systems in Colombia with the uh, Vital Pass. It, it's wow. So there, Colombia is the first country in Latin America to adopt this technology. Joining the ranks of others already doing this, including Singapore, Japan, South Korea, yeah. and New York City. I remember that. I mean, wow. it's all it's all it's all behind the scenes. This is done. Yeah. It's just done behind a curtain. Yep. So the use of blockchain tech makes this digital passport one of the safest and most reliable tools to guarantee the transparent process of vaccination in Colombia. Because the information cannot be changed, erased, or manipulating, thus ensuring the validity of the certificate against cases of forgery, double dosage, or others. <sighs> wow. This is it. This, this, is the, this is the tech of choice for more than 700 global organizations. And that, so, it, man, it's coming, and it's coming fast. And then... Al Algorand is also doing a lot with music and gaming. You know, the, I want to get off of the, the the horrid stuff for a second and kind of focus on some more of the uplifting stuff. And <laughs> Opulus was an app that I was looking at for a little bit, but I looked at the price chart and it just kind of, it made me say, whoa, 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 what is going on here? So you got if you I know you had done, did a video about a year ago about it. You know what did you what did you see when you looked at it back then? Well, I loved it at, at the time, and it it just I think it's just because of where where the market's at right now is the reason why it's down so much. I'm definitely gonna be grabbing some more. Yeah, I mean they they couldn't have launched at a worse time. I mean November 2021, <laughs> right at the peak of the bull market. Yeah. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's down ninety nine point one percent. So I kind of one second. All right, we're back. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of looked. I took a little, a little bit of a dive and started looking into their Twitter page to see if it was active. And it was more. It's more than active, bro. They have. They're building a lot right now, and it just looks like one of these projects that just launched at the wrong time and just got crushed. But they're building and they have actual development going on. I mean, they're really working hard to do this NFTs, music, loyalty, rewards. I mean, it's all coming. And they launched their rewards platform last month in October. 
So more milestones hit, including their roadmap for rewards. Where was it? So they have a whole, their whole staking pool is up and running now. They have a raffle. So it's, it's, it's cool to see that this is all up and running. And now, nice. you know, is the time to, you know, if you're going to buy something, what's the downside risk at this point? I mean, we're at all time lows. We're 2.5% I mean, off the all time low. You're right. A lot of these coins are on a 95% discount. Could go to 97. Who knows? But are you going to wait for that? Or would you, you know, get it now? I mean, there's there's so much. That's like at a severe discount. So, yeah. Just yeah. everybody so pack your bags. <laughs> can, you check, can, you, can you check real quick to show everyone where, where exchanges they can get that on? Opulus? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I'm, I think KuCoin might have it. Yep, KuCoin's got it. Go. Gain.io, Huobi, Uniswap, Bitmart, yeah, Bing, Gate, Mexi. Uh, yeah, Mexi has yeah. Yep, I would not. Yeah, I would not get it on Uniswap though. There's no volume. Bing, Gate.io, and uh, Mexi look like the KuCoin's yeah, right. too. Yeah. But I mean, I'm gonna. This is something that I'm definitely gonna look at. I mean, it's obviously isn't financial advice, but yeah, and then, and then what, what was the total um supply on Opulus? Five hundred million. Boom. But that's the other issue: is the circulating is only about a third. So where are the other three hundred twenty-five million? You know, that's a lot of coins. That could just be dumped out. But honestly, looking at the chart, I feel like those coins got released over this past year. Because that, I mean, that's just, it's just dumping. And now we're finally starting to consolidate. I mean, I don't, we're down 99.1%. I mean, what's, what's the bottom for this coin? It's either zero or moon at this point. Exactly. It really <laughs> is. Yeah, this, they, they, that is so true. This coin is at the point where it is going to zero or you're at the bottom. I mean, I can't see this coin dropping below five cents. I mean, it, it will it would just go to zero. But again, this is the MFTs are what they do. Um, I've never heard of them. I just saw this here. MFT sales. I mean, honestly, if, if they got Tygo in there, like multi platinum, obviously, yeah. multi time, yeah, multi platinum. Out. Yeah. Kyle sold out. He, is he the one that did that song, I Spy, with uh, Yachty? Yeah, yeah he's, he's an actor too. Uh, so, like, he's, he's like multifaceted. But I mean, like I said, you get Tygo in there, multi time, multi platinum artists. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's kind of like a big deal. Yeah, yeah. The team. And then that, that Lee Parsons, um, he has her check out his LinkedIn. He's he's got a pretty nice uh, background. Okay, I, I never I've never heard of him before. Yeah, scroll down a little bit. See that Ditto Music. Mm-hmm. Founder and CEO. Yeah, wow, we've worked with Ed Sheeran, Royal Blood, Stormzy, Sam Smith, thousands more. Fifty fifth. Fastest growing UK company in 2018. Wow. Okay. So yeah, he's he's official then. Yeah. That's cool. So yeah, that's something to keep an eye on. And then the Twitter too. That's something that I really look at. Is the Twitter active? Are people using it? Are they just retweeting stuff? And this is they have actual tweets. They're not just retweeting stuff. They're putting up tweets. People are engaging on them. I mean, this is what I like to see. Yeah, it's good to see actual engagement, not just right. bots. <laughs> bots right. in the comments <laughs> and then the like section. Yeah. And then also also this um, Dequency IO. I'm, I haven't heard of them. But this is, I guess they're launching on Algorand too. Yeah. What was the other one that we were talking about? Yieldly? 
Yieldly. Yieldly. Okay. Yeah. That was that the Dex on there. It was a Dex and a place where you could stake and earn um, different tokens. And I think they have a couple pools in there. Yeah, they do. I haven't okay. been over there in a while though. Ever since there was like a on the on the Yieldly, there was a hack on the Dex at one point. So okay. I don't know if they fixed those issues, fixed those issues or not. Awesome. And then, I mean, everyone knows LimeWire and Napster. I mean, if you're my age generation or you're 10 years younger, I mean, you know LimeWire, Napster, BitTorrent. So you know all that stuff. So this is all coming yep. down brand. I mean, that, that's really cool. And then also gaming, too. Taking it back. So the, I did not – I have ne- I haven't heard of any of these games, but there's six clever uses of the Algorand blockchain in gaming. And they – Zone – Drone Racing League, Flex NBA, Alg Ocean, Trantorian, and Cosmic Champs. So these are all brand new. I've not heard of any of them. I'm going to be looking into these in the next couple weeks, month. But this is when you get into projects like this. I mean, it's extremely high risk, but you put in what you can afford to lose and you find stuff like Opulus when the downside risk right now is we're down. We, we're not buying in up here at the highs or buying pumps. I mean, we are flatlined here. I mean, this is dead. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, it doesn't get worse if you're looking at a chart. I mean, we are just chopping between six and eight cents. I mean, if we break this, I mean, yeah, we could go down to zero. But, I mean, do your own research. I mean, this is could be a hidden gem if this if they turn us around let I me mean, just go to the twitter and look at what they're doing with the development and the stuff they have planned for the end of the year and into 2023 with all the next the phases they're rolling out i mean they're get ready for a big q4 i mean you, you're not going to see stuff like this if this was a dead project you would not they would not be going through all this to posting and and developing and hosting amas just to run keep a scam going it's not how things work. Well, he- Eagle, have you heard of any of these games? Uh, we were looking at the zone. Right? Absolutely, yeah, the zone. I've, I've heard about like, that for the first one. I saw that when they launched that on um, Yieldly, you were able to earn a certain percentage of zone if you had um, Yieldly tokens. Okay, cool. Yeah, it just looks like it's just a decentralized social gaming platform, 90,000 users. So, and the mm-hmm. Drone Racing League will soon reach next level thanks to partnership with Algorand to bring scalability. These include blockchain enabled ticketing, collectibles, fan transactions, and NFTs. Yeah. Played you get that drone racing. Yep. Crazy. That's, yeah, that's, that's going to be cool. That's cool. Hell yeah. Great apologies, guys. I do gotta run at 10 o'clock. Yeah. Hey, bro. Anything else you want? Anything else you want? Oh shit, we had your uh flare article. Yeah, the flare, but if you want to just jump over to Twitter real quick, I could have time to do that one. Okay. Go go flare. to my Twitter page and then I just wanted to show you because earlier you were talking about the um how the NFTs were being used by way more than just being JPEGs. Yep. You know, it's, it's like you're tokenizing um securities and you're tokenizing like literally real estate everything on the blockchain yep. and i wanted to show you what xdc was doing with trade finance as far as those nfts where am i looking okay so um go uh go up top to the top of my page was it up top yeah okay now you're gonna yeah, scroll down oh, and then uh, a little bit more scroll down a little bit more Look at this no, keep going be at the heart of all yeah. the- wow Right there. Yeah, that one. Now, click on that picture real quick. If you go to the upper left-hand corner. Oh, so I was trying to make it bigger. You see that originators upload assets. There we go. So originators upload assets to trade tech platform assets automatically and continuously allocated to one plus investors based on pre-age criteria. Wow. Yeah, data provided and shared via, via based integration API or direct database connection that wasn't the one slide over to the right of the of the picture there it is right there see that assets utilized on decentralized zenfin enterprise grade blockchain as nft tokens 
representing off-chain assets. That's huge right here. The yeah. assets are repackaged as NFT tokens. NFT tokens. Wow. Yep. This is yep. Now this is what this is what NFTs were meant to be. That's not the, yeah, that's not the JPEG that you guys are looking at. No, this is not a JPEG. I mean, <laughs> institutional investors buy NFT tokens. The new token holder receives legal entitlement to an asset or package of assets. That's exactly like houses are going to be. And yeah. instead of going through the whole process, closing process, nope, no more. There you Everything, go. Everything's verified through an NFT on the blockchain. Done. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Trada, fully regulated trade finance backed fungible. So, dude, security tokens. That's something that I, I want to talk about. Yeah. On one of the next on the next streams is absolutely the, the well I'll see you guys soon man you guys keep going on i appreciate you guys all right bro it was good thank you for coming on we will absolutely uh, catch you next week all right good seeing you molly all right man good seeing you too man you have a good one bro you too be blessed